chances are, if you're watching this video right now, you either know someone who has been a victim of sexual assault or rape, or you yourself have been a victim of sexual assault and rape. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Before we get into this video about Daoud Kim uh, and how he was proven to be innocent uh, through his alleged rape allegations that took place, I first want to start off by reminding you and myself, of course, that there's only about 90 or so days left before Ramadan. And depending on when you watch this, it's going to be less and less each time. So let's focus on making sure that this Ramadan is the most special one. And to do that, I'm trying to help out my audience my community, such as yourself watching this right now, um, with the Asma al Hasna, so the 99 names of Allah. We're on the sixth name right now, which is going to be really useful for this video, I promise you right now. And that name is Al Khabir. Al Khabir. Okay? So the 99 name of Allah that we're talking about today is Al Khabir. That means the one who is fully aware of your most inner secrets and inner feelings. It's very similar to Al Latif. Al Latif is different from Al Khabir, but Al Khabir is more about. He's aware of what you're going through, or what you're dealing with. And with that being said, let's talk about what Daoud Kim was going through. Now, I just want to be clear right now. This isn't a tamasha. Sexual assault is a real thing. Okay? Rape is a real thing. I'm happy that my brother is proven, you know, non, you know, innocent in this entire process, you know, and he, you know, something about the lines that he was being blackmailed. I didn't really pay attention to it. I'll be honest with you. I didn't. All I know is that he was being blackmailed for whatever he was doing, so on and so forth. Okay. Um, first and foremost, to those of us who didn't have the full story and accused Brother Dawood Kim, turn to Allah and apologize right now. Because you accused him of something that he wasn't proven against that he was wrong. And you assumed that he was wrong just because it seemed like evidence pointed against him, number one. Fear Allah for those of you who were slandering the victim. People who are victims of rape. Not this specific one because this person apparently turned out to be a con artist, right? But besides them, those who are slandering those who do get raped or are victims of sexual assault shame on you you have to understand that that's not that's not our position as muslims to to treat people or to behave in such a manner like that okay i brought some statistics with you because i wanted to use this daoud kim incident the the fact that this video is more likely to get more clicks because of the title to give you guys more benefit so i wanted to give you the ramadan benefit the asma al husna benefit which is still going to come later on more uh and more benefit and learn and educate you about a little bit more about sexual assault and uh, rape. Okay, so I brought some statistics that I wanted to share with you guys. Okay, and I, and I, want, I want you guys to understand this. These statistics are based in America. This does not represent what's happening in India, which would be way worse. Pakistan, way worse. Indonesia, way worse. Bangladesh, way worse. And other countries too. Populations that are higher than the United States. But let me give you some statistics about rape. Okay. One in six women experiences completed or attempted rape against them. Okay? So one in six people. So if there's six people, one out of those six have experienced attempted or completed rape against them. Keep that in mind. Okay. One in three experiences of sexual violence. One in three people experience some type of sexual violence. This is in America. So you could imagine in overly populated countries, like the countries I mentioned before, those numbers are way more serious. Let's keep reading some more. Eight out of 10 rapes happen by someone known to the victim. So when rapes happen, sexual assaults happen, it's usually done by someone they know. It doesn't necessarily have to be a family member, but it is someone they know. One in 10 children, mind you, this is in America. So imagine what's it like in India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Indonesia. I'm saying, I'm saying these countries because they're, I know them to be very overpopulated. China, I'm not just talking about like Muslim countries, like just everywhere else, okay? One in 10 children are sexually abused by the age of 18. By the age of 18, okay. Now, uh, I, I want to continue with this for a second, right? And I want to show you another statistic right now. Um, chances are, if you're watching this video right now, you either know someone who has been a victim of sexual assault or rape, or you yourself 
have been a victim of sexual assault and rape. Okay, now the, the the sister whoever said whatever she said about Dawood Kim, like legit made a mockery of something that's so serious. This shit is like serious, and uh, you know apparently she's blackmailing him or whatever the case might be. May Allah guide her. Like this shit is not something to play. You know this is not something to cry wolf about. Like this is serious, serious stuff. There's already a stigma within our community, within the Islamic community of rape and not talking about it. Now you make it even more difficult by making it seem like, ah, oh, they're all liars. There's people who are already victim shame. Now you're giving them more ammunition. Like, ah, oh, they're liars. You see, they're attention seeking, they're clout chasing. When that's not true. You're making real victims of sexual assault look bad. Okay. A lot of us in the comment section were talking about why doesn't okay you got raped you got sexually assaulted may Allah protect you well why didn't you tell the cops why didn't you have to tell the authorities why didn't you tell your parents because it ain't that easy most of the time eight out of ten the assault is done by someone they know so how I look telling my mom about her brother who assaulted me huh it's done by someone they know that could ruin a family. There's reasons to why they don't. Let me give you some reasons to as to why um, people don't, okay? 26% of people believe that it was a personal matter. 12% believe that it was not important enough to re report. It's not important enough to report. They didn't want to report it. They didn't want to cause people harm. Like it's not, uh, whatever. Shit happens. Okay. 14% didn't want the perpetrator, the one who did the rape, to get in trouble. 10% believe the police would not or could not do anything to help. 5% reports but not to the police. And 35% has a different like reasons to why they didn't report. There's other multiple reasons as well too. Okay. I first and foremost want to let you know that if you are someone or a loved one of yours who have uh, confided in you that they have been sexually assaulted, it is your responsibility to take that to the authorities and make sure that justice is being taken place. Most of the time when people are uh, raped or perhaps uh, have committed sexual assault, they don't get the crime, the, 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 the penalty that's due to them because we remain quiet. Remember, the longer you remain quiet about them, the more a sexual predator uh, gains uh, power and thinking that they're unstoppable. And it's only a matter of time before they harm someone else. So by you remaining silent, you are enabling them to do it again. And I know it's not easy to talk about, and I, I wish there was more security in this in the, within the Muslim community. Maybe this is the challenge to me to get better. Maybe this is a challenge for me to create something. And I'm sorry for not having that resource ready for you right now. I, I use a specific name of Allah Azza wa Jal in the beginning of this video called Al-Khabir. Al-Khabir literally means the one who is like aware of the subtleties of your heart, the innermost intricate feelings of your heart. Okay. One of the things that we need to do as Muslims is not only memorize the name and understand the name, so we have to learn how to apply those names. I want you all to realize that none of us knows what's going on in people's hearts and in their minds. So it makes sense for us to apply this name by understanding to give someone the benefit of the doubt. Because we don't know the intricacies of their hearts and their minds and what they're feeling. And the second thing is, why don't we engage in more dialogue to understand what's going on. Why assume what's in their heart? Let's ask them questions so they can reveal information about their heart and it can be more therapeutic for them. That's how we can apply this name. So I'm challenging you guys with about three months left uh, to Ramadan, depending on when you watch this, probably even less. Um, let's challenge ourselves to get better. Let's challenge ourselves to get closer to Allah. Let's challenge ourselves to stand up for justice. Let's challenge ourselves to, you know, not worry about what's a taboo topic, what's not a taboo topic. Let's just talk about the things that matter the most. These are plaguing the Muslim communities. We need to address them. It's as simple as that. So, this is your boy SQ signing off. I, I, I have nothing else to give to you guys. Uh, my, my, my du'as are with those who have been assaulted. My, my du'as with those who, who, who are actually getting harmed. And may Allah guide those who are crying wolf and doing it for the wrong reason and trying to trap people and blackmail people. May Allah bless Brother Dawood Kim and everyone else who's watching this video right now. And may Allah grant ease to those who have been harmed through sexual assault, rape, or something of that nature. You're not alone. Um, and, 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 and I love you. I genuinely love you. And I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses you and increases you as well too. And until next time.
I'm out.